All right, so I found this mod called Pequay. I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyway, it is essentially a size altering mod that alters your size. There are several other attributes you can change, including the motion of the entity, the size of the projectile shot by the entity, and many more. These can be set to any real numbers, and those real numbers include zero and negative values. There are plenty of videos of people growing to immense size or very tiny sizes, but have you seen anyone go to the negative values? Maybe you have, but I'm gonna make this video nonetheless. I'll link the mod's download page in the description. Note that the version presented in this video is outdated, as the newer version seems to crash when I set some values to a negative number. There's a lot of values you can change, and I'll briefly cover the less noteworthy ones first. Attack is the damage multiplier. Setting it to 0 or less will make you deal 0 damage. So no, you cannot heal things with negative values. Reach is also a multiplier. When its value is 0, you can't interact with anything unless you are literally standing inside it. Negative values let you interact with things behind you in the older version, but not in the newer one. What a shame. Defense is the divisor of the damage taken. For instance, having two defense halves the damage. Since it's a divisor, as it approaches 0, the damage taken approaches infinity. However, setting this to negative value makes you completely invincible. Knockback doesn't exist yet in this version, so the enemy will not get pulled towards you if you have negative KP, it just won't take any knockback. You know, now that the attack and knockback is set to zero, I feel like I could do something with that, like sitting here, I realize. I'm getting copyright claimed, aren't I? Anyway. Explosion applies to entities that explode. It's just the size of the explosion. Setting it to zero just makes the explosion deal no damage, break the block, and doesn't destroy ground items. Lastly, in the newer versions, we can have a comically large spoon. Now onto the ones with more interesting effects. First of all, health. After setting your health to zero or less, your health will stay the same until it gets updated, either by being hit or being healed. If you get hit and survive that hit, your health will be set to 2.8 times 10 to the power of negative 44. The interesting thing happens when you get healed though. Getting healed while your health hasn't updated yet will instantly kill you. Sort of. Like, you see, the death screen is different. There's no cause of death. The death message does not come up and your health is still at half a heart. But what happens when you hit respawn? Oh, turns out I was really dead, thankfully. Just don't go into F5 mode or the inventory screen because it's gonna be a bit awkward. This is fine. So, the motion works as expected with a few twists. When motion is set to a negative value, movement is inverted as you'd expect, and so does gravity. Also, setting the motion to zero makes you a handicap. I like how striders just disappear. Oh, and no, they won't return even when you set your motion back to normal. Setting your motion to zero while writing something is not advice. Next up is projectiles and drops. The usual, you know, you throw and chew things backwards, and they float. Onto what is probably the best bit here, the sizes. You can change the size of any entity, and by any entities, I mean it. Let's get started with width. Zero width on any entity results in them being practically invisible. Also, it crashes the server. If you do it on yourself, it crashes your game. Thankfully, negative width does not crash the server, but it does result in some trippiness. Like this villager, he's completely normal apart from the fact that he's in the floor and occasionally try to face through walls, of course. Let me just bring him out of the floor real quick. Now, I would like to trade with him, but he's a bit rude since he's not facing me. Until you realize that he is facing me and his model is completely flipped. It's a bit more apparent when you have a painting. Now, I'll do what any good scientist would do, and try it on myself. Okay, well that's creepy. First, I can't see beyond the chunk I'm in, and the block models are a bit strange. I can't seem to see any entities or block entities, and holding a chest in my hand is weird. Scaffoldings are now tesseracts, and I think this is because of rendering layers. Like, the game knows what should be layered on top of what, and I screwed it up completely. Snaking or jumping teleports me every now and then, and trying to turn myself back to normal teleports me half a million blocks away from spawn, under the bedrock, and crash the server. Well, that was fun. Now, onto height. 
This is gonna be a bit trickier as extremely small height will send the entity to the fucking back rooms. So I'll just add the no gravity tag to the target entity. Zero height turns them into a pitch black piece of paper and crash the server after a few seconds. This is the 15th time I had to reopen Minecraft to make this video. Setting my height to zero does not immediately crash my game or the server, but it does nothing else either, apart from increasing friction. This is not entertaining enough, let's go negative, and it got sent to the back rooms again. Alright, take two. This is exactly what I expected. It's facing the correct way and seems to be able to literally face through blocks. Now I know what you're thinking. Let's just do it on ourselves and see what happens. Right, no gravity. Unlike normal entities, you can't edit the tag in the player. What you can do, however, is give yourself levitation 255. Alright, let's go. So first of all, I cannot look at myself. Going into F5 mode doesn't seem to work, I think it's because the F5 camera is not in the right place. Apart from that, sinking into the floor and a little bizarre hitbox and physics, there's not much else really. I do want to know how it looks from others' perspective though. So I hit up a friend and this is what I got. Now let's head back to the current version, as zero height in this version is also quite interesting. What though? So it is time to set everything to negative. It'll probably crash my game, but uh, fuck it. You see, this is a great thumbnail material, but I can't do anything. I'm stuck in a block because of my negative height, and I can't jump out because of my negative motion multiplier. I'm like a worm wriggling in this box. I, I think I should end this video before I give someone an epileptic seizure. The link to download the mod is, again, in the description. It's a fun mod, and there's some untapped potential I couldn't fit in this video. If you want older versions of the mod, check out their GitHub page. That's about it. Subscribe, I guess I should start saying that a bit more. See ya.